Street, 922. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, Nez Porter. Over here on uh, Blue Hill Ave. Where they, they just had a um, kitchen called Juve going this way. And that's, that's pretty much winding down. And they're setting up for uh, the Caribbean Festival down here. So um, what I noticed is, see how they have special events uh, no parking now they did it on this part of Blue Hill Ave but as you cross over Seaver Street going down they didn't put any signs up there I don't know if that was a um, mistake on the city because I, I, I believe the city was notified of the uh, of the event well, they have to not be notified of the event because obviously these signs are up here as they as you can see But for some reason they didn't do the rest of Blue Hill going towards uh, Grove Hall So now some cars are um, Be stuck in the middle of the event Unless they move their cars before 12 So if you see right here, they did put proper signage up here and BTD was early this morning. They were towing quite a few vehicles. Engine 39, enter known medical, 25 Northern Avenue. But however, on the other side of Seaver Street, going down Blue Hill, there's no um, signage. So Boston Police were not able to tow. They had to put the uh, barricades around the cars. So that's what we have. So somehow the city of Boston didn't do a, a thorough job on the uh, this, the market or signage, I should say. Take a quick walk down and see what we see down there. So they'll be setting up here. Um, like I said, it's about nine o'clock now. So the event doesn't start to about 12. They get a few hours before everybody's put in place. Yeah, that's not. The 202, they're going to have to meet me here with the metal barriers at um, Blue and Talbot. Okay, I have a Charlie 202, you copy? We got it. Yankee Bravo 4 to the Charlie Charlie 2. How many, um, if we can come up with some extra steel, how many would you need at Talbot and Blue? 9 South Hampton Street, Dorchester. Here is Fox 727-5 South Hampton Street. Alright. Tango 321 in operation. Answering. Uh, we have Evansville trying to get some sort of a power outage. Um, we have Evansville trying to get some sort of a power outage. Um, what's the best entry to where they need to be? So these cars here that you see over there will probably be Tango three, three, six, so stuck in the parade. Uh, have an ambulance with the uh, staff picked them off board at American Legion and Blue. Are they going to be able to continue up Blue or no? A medical Okay, so that's what we have here. 
So they they didn't. They didn't put any signs on this stretch here. Um, technically, they were supposed to do both sides of the street. So cars wouldn't park over here and interfere with the uh, the parade. Oh, I think it's just this side. Sorry about that. I think it's just that side they were supposed to mark. This side was supposed to be kept open. So they got an ambulance that's trying to get through uh, that crowd down there. So they're going to have to reroute, have to reroute the ambulance from getting to that crowd. I want to show you a little bit of activity in uh, the city out here. So they're still setting up some barricades here and there, trying to make sure everything's all set up the proper way. So the next few hours, this is going to be a pretty busy area. I just want to show you them uh, setting up and what to expect. A lot of preparation in uh, setting up this type of event because it covers several square blocks. Take a walk down towards Grove Hall and see how it was looking down there. Guys got some uh you got tons of books there. You want some? Oh no. They probably don't into the libraries. YouTube? YouTube, yeah. Yo, what's up YouTube? Hey. Yo, go subscribe, Isaac Lauer. I said again? Isaac Lauer, I S A C L A U E R. Okay, cool. Alright, Isaac Lauer. I check him out if I get a chance. Isaac Lauer. Try to remember that to subscribe to his channel when I get a chance. Charlie Alpha 2. Charlie Alpha 2. Just as if we do have 10 extra pieces of steel down at uh, Albert and Bernard. Like I said, in the next several hours, this area will be full of lots of lots of people. Mm -hmm. 
Alright guys, that's what we pretty much have so far. Um, so I hang around to about 12 o'clock and then we'll see how it uh, turns out. I hear it's going to be a pretty pretty good event. Or, you know, lots of people are going to be there anyway. And they're still setting up the barricade, so um, you know they, they got they still have time. Get an image of the guys uh, setting up over here. Going down um, Wa um, Warren Street. I take the uh, sidewalk approach. Here's the crew right here. Again, all available mob cycles meet up with the Tango 332, I There's a trick to doing that. You gotta lift it high and drop it in there. If you drop the top one in first and then drop the bottom one in, it's a lot easier. But you gotta lift it up high though, just so you know. Are we open to Blue now? Rockstar, engine 14, ladder 4, essential 
The, the trick is to drop the top one in first, then drop the bottom one in, see? Yeah. If you don't get the angle, you won't do it. It, it won't work. That's a veteran over there. He knows what he's talking about. <laughs> He's like, forget it. It's a trick to it, though, man. You just gotta, you gotta get the hang of it. Bottom, bottom, bottom. Bottom. They're just doing the bottoms now, so they got tired of doing the lifting. The hole's too narrow on the top, that's why. That, that, that pin's real longer. Yeah, the, the, hole, the hole's narrow too. So it doesn't work in both favors. See, it's supposed to be long like that one, but that one's extra short over there. It's kind of... It takes a lot of upper body strength to do that though. That's, that's the reason why it's tough to do. You have a lot of upper body strength to kind of pivot that. Thank you. 
For the bus stop. But they got benches in, so it's kind of like in between. They have benches on one side and the shelter on the other side. Whatever they say, whatever they say, you do, right? That's how you do it. You can't make the rules. Okay, so we're going to go back to 400 Funders Road and load up our trailers. Oh yeah, I have a YouTube channel, Ex External Affairs Porter. So that that be external affairs porter. You see it up there later on. You know. Yeah, I'm gonna go home and get some rest and come back out. <laughs> Alright, so these guys are gonna go back to uh Furnace Road, load up with another uh, set of barricades and bring them up here. Take care now, be safe. It's a lot of barricades they have to bring up. They're bringing up tons and tons of barricades, like throughout this whole area. They come back with a couple more trailer loads of barricades. I believe I saw three trailers of those barricades out. There's one on top of the Ave. There's one down here. I thought I saw another one over on um, Columbia Road. Alright guys, um, I'm going to go home and maybe take a quick nap and get it by 12 and see what's going on up here at 12 o'clock. Catch you guys on the next one. There's another barricade truck down there too. So that this this is probably the third one right here. Because if it's... There is another one on top of the Ave. Let me show you where this truck's at right here. They're about to head back to Furnish Road. Actually, they got—I think they got four trucks. So there's two with the. Uh, I think it's four. I think it's a total of four that I see now. This one makes four. Delta base to the Delta 431. City side's on the way. Right, so people are still setting up. This whole Warren Street all the way up will be lined with people in the next few hours. They are gonna head back to Friends Road at the same time. They all load up and come back out. Alright guys, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Nice Porter.